Hello children, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your English teacher. Today we are going to read a new lesson from your English textbook, Honeycombed. Unit number eight, fire, friend and foe. See, before you read, fire is both useful and dangerous. What is fire? How did we discover it? How do we control it? Now let's read the lesson. Fire, friend and foe. Foe meaning enemy. Early man didn't know what fire was but he must have seen the damage it could cause he must have watched lightning and volcanoes long before he began to use fire himself fire was powerful and dangerous and he was frightened fire may have puzzled early man but we now know that fire is the result of a chemical reaction when the oxygen in the air combines with carbon and hydrogen in a fuel, a chemical reaction takes place. Energy in the form of heat and light is released in this process. This is what we call fire. Three things are needed to make fire. Fuel, oxygen and heat. Wood, coal, cooking gas and petrol are some examples of fuel. Oxygen comes from the air. That is why when you blow on smoldering pepper, it often bursts into flame. The third thing needed to make fire is heat. Fuel and oxygen do not make fire by themselves or else a newspaper or a stick lying in the open would catch fire on its own. To burn a piece of pepper or wood, We heat it before it catches fire. We generally do it with a lighted match. Every fuel has a particular temperature at which it begins to burn. This temperature is called the flash point or kindling temperature of the fuel. It is sometimes said that fire is a good servant but a bad master. It only means that Fire is very useful as long as it is kept under control. For instance, we use it to cook our food, warm our homes in winter and to generate electricity. But on the other hand, if, we f if fire gets out of control, it can be very dangerous. Each year, thousands of homes and shops are damaged by fire. Vast areas of forests are also destroyed and hundreds of people are killed or injured. Just as three things are needed to start a fire, there are three main ways in which a fire can be put out and each one of the three things needed for burning is taken away. For example, we can take away the fuel if the fire has no fuel to feed on no burning can take place. We often let a fire die out simply by not adding more fuel to it. The second way of putting out a fire is to prevent oxygen from reaching it. No supply of oxygen means no fire. Small fires can be put out or smoother with a damped blanket or a sack. This stops oxygen reaching the burning material. Sometimes carbon dioxide is used to extinguish fire. It does not allow oxygen to reach the burning material. The third way of putting out the fire is to remove the heat. If the temperature can be brought down below the flash point, the fuel stops burning. 
you blow on a burning matchstick or a candle to put it out in doing so you remove the hot air around the flame bringing down its temperature below the flash point and the candle goes out sometimes water is sprayed on a fire it absorbs heat from the burning fuel and lowers the temperature the blanket of water also cuts off the oxygen supply of oxygen and the fire is extinguished some fires cannot be put out with water if water is sprayed onto an oil fire the oil will float to the top of the water and continue to burn this can be very dangerous because water can flow quickly carrying the burning oil with it and spreading the fire water should also not be used on fires caused by electrical appliances the person spraying water might receive an electric shock and be killed a carbon dioxide extinguisher is the best thing to fight an electrical fire we spend millions of rupees each year in fighting fires and we spend more trying to find new ways of preventing fires from happening and getting out of control on the whole we have learned rather well to control fire and put it to good use in our everyday life long ago there were no firemen when fire broke out everybody can became a firefighter people form human chains they still do if required and pass buckets of water from a well or a pond to the blast now there are laws about building constructions which ensures that space is left between buildings to reduce the fire risks every new building especially a public place must ensure observance of fire prevention norms bands of fire fighting workers with special equipment known as fire brigades are there to put out fires fire fighters are highly trained people they possess many skills they cut off electricity supply knock down dangerous walls spray water and other materials to bring fire under control they are also trained in first aid so that they can help people suffering from burns or from the effects of smoke the discovery of fire and its uses help early man to cope with nature better and gradually adopt a subtle mode of life fire is still worshiped in many parts of the world fire is indeed a friend but as we know it can be a dangerous enemy once it gets out of control here we can see some new words like coop c o p e coped deal with manage here on the right side bands groups equipment meaning things needed extinguish put out smother suffocated from lack of air add fuel to the flames idiom say or do something that makes people react more strongly and fiercely generate produce smoldering again burning slowly without flame Now let's have a quick check on this comprehension check exercise one mark the correct answer in each of the following remind number one early man was frightened of we have three options a b c a lightning and volcanoes b the damage caused by them c fire and exercise for the for the remand number one the correct answer is the correct option is 
option number C, fire. Ramayana number two. Fire is energy. Fire is heat and light. Fire is the result of a chemical reaction. Here again, number C is the correct option. Fire is the result of a chemical reaction. Number two, from the boxes given below, choose the one with the correct order of the following sentences. Remind number one, that is fire. Two, a chemical reaction takes place. Three, energy in the form of heat and light is released. Four, oxygen combines with carbon and hydrogen. And we have three, four options here. And the correct option is the arrangement. Remind number four, two, three, and one. The last option is the correct answer. Walking with the text. Answer the following questions. What do you understand by the flash point of a fuel? See, the temperature at which a fuel begins to burn is called the flash point of that fuel. And there's another name for it. That's the kindling temperature. Roman number, question number two, Roman number one. What are some common uses of fire? Roman two, in what sense is it a bad master? Roman number one answer, fire is used for cooking food, keeping our rooms warm in the winter and to generate electricity. And there are many more uses of fire. Roman number two, answer, if fire gets out of control, it can be very dangerous. It may burn houses, factories, and vast forest areas. It can bring disasters. In that sense, it's a very dangerous thing. That's why it is a bad master. Fire is a good servant, but a bad master. Number three, match items in column A with those in column B. A, B. C. Remind number one, fuel. Coal, wood, cooking gas. Remind number two, oxygen, air. Smoldering pepper. Number three, heat. Lighted matchstick, burning coal. Question number four. What are the three main ways in which a fire can be controlled or put out? By removing fuel, preventing the supply of oxygen, and removing the heat. To bring down the temperature, fire can be controlled or put out. Match the items in box A with those in box B. Okay, Roman number one. To burn pepper or a piece of wood, two small fires can be put out. Three, when water is sprayed on fire. Number four, a carbon dioxide extinguisher is the best thing. Five, space left between buildings. B, it absorbs heat from the burning material and lowers the temperature, reduces the risk of fire. With a damped blanket, we heat, we heat it before it catches fire. 
to put out an electrical fire. Okay, now let's match the column A with B. Roman number one, to burn paper or a piece of wood. We heat it before it catches fire. Roman number two, small fires can be put out with a damped blanket. Roman number three, when water is spread on fire, it absorbs heat from the burning material and lowers the temperature. Roman number four, a carbon dioxide extinguisher is the best thing to put out an electrical fire. Roman number five, space left between buildings reduces the risk of fire. My question number six, why does a burning candle go out when you blow on it? When we blow on a burning candle, we remove the hot air around the flame. It lowers down the temperature below the flash point of the fuel. Thus, the candle goes out. Spraying water, question number seven, spraying water is not a good way of putting out an oil fire or an electrical fire. Why not? Oil is lighter than water. It flows on water. If it catches fire, water helps to spread the fire by carrying the burning oil. Electric fire gives shocks to the person who sprays water on it. So spraying water is not good in both the cases. Question number eight. What are some of the things you should do to prevent a fire at home and in the school? Some of the things uh, that we should do to prevent a fire at home and in the school are Number one, at home we should not keep inflammable articles in the kitchen. Two, we should keep the gas cylinder at a safe place. We should check the gas supply tube from time to time. Number three, buildings often catch fire due to short circuit. In school premises, wires should be checked from time to time. Number four, chemicals and equipments in the labs must be stored carefully. Number five, fire extinguishers must be installed in the school. Walking with a language. Read the following sentences. To burn pepper or a piece of wood, we heat it before it catches fire. We generally do it with a lighted match. Every fuel has a particular temperature at which it burns. The verbs in italics are in the simple present tense. When we use it, we are not thinking only about the present. We use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly or that something is true in general. Find 10 examples of verbs in the simple present tense in the text fire friend and foe write them down here do not include any passive verbs this is an interesting uh, grammatical exercise Stu students can try this it's very easy you will find words like comes blow burst begins, gets, stops, allo, goes, absorbs, cuts off. To fill in the blanks in the sentences below with words from the books, you may use a word more than once. 
in the box a few words are given carbon cost fire smoother let's see remind number one Gandhi's life was devoted to the cause of justice and fair play Remind number two, have you insured your house against fire? We can write fire here. We can fill a fire. Number three, diamond is nothing but carbon in its pure form. Remind number four, if you put too much coal on the fire at once you will smoother it Roman number five smoking is said to be the man cause of heart disease six when asked by an ambitious writer whether he should put some fire into his stories somerset moham murmured no the other way around c is a roman number seven c is a carbon copy of her mother roman number eight it is often difficult to smoother a yawn when you listen to a long speech on the value of time. Exercise number three. One word is italicized in each sentence. Find its opposite in the box and fill in the blanks. Spending, set, destroy, substrate, increase. Remind number one. You were required to keep all the doors opened, not Sat. Remind number two. Pupil, what mark did I get in yesterday's match tench? Teacher, you got what you get when you add five and five and subtract ten from the total. Remind number three. Run four kilometers a day to preserve your health. Run a lot more to destroy it. Roman number four, if a doctor advises a lean and lanky patient to reduce, it, reduce his weight further, be sure he is doing it to increase his income. Roman number five, the world is too much with us, let and soon, getting and spending, we lay west our powers. Worse would. Exercise number four. Use the words given in the books to fill in the blanks in the sentences below. Across, along, past, through. Remind number one. The cat chased the mouse. That's the lawn. The cat chased the mouse across the lawn two we were not allowed to cross the frontier so we dropped along it as far as we could and came back happy the horse went roman number three the horse went past the winning post the winning post and had to be stopped with difficulty Roman number four, it is not difficult to see through your plant. Anyone can see your motive. Roman number five, go along the yellow line, then turn left. You will reach the post in five minutes. Speaking and writing. 
Look at the following three units. First, reorder the items. In each unit to make a meaningful sentence. Next, reorder the sentences to make a meaningful paragraph. Use correct punctuation marks in the paragraphs. Roman number one. And 18 fire tenders struggle slash the fire began on Monday slash to douse the bless till morning. Now let's try to see assemble it in a proper way. Let's try to arrange it. Roman number one. The fire began on Monday and 18 fire tenders struggled to douse the blaze till morning. Roman number two. Over 25 sobs were gutted in a major fire. Roman number three. No casualties were reported. But property would several lakhs was destroyed. I read the following newspapers report given in the box below. Fire station goes up in flame. A fire chief was embarrassed when a station without a smoke alarm went out in flames. The building and a fire engine were destroyed in the blast. Nobody was injured in the fire that was tackled by 35 fighters in six fire engines from neighboring towns. Now let's go back to the lesson again and sum up the story. The lesson. This lesson, fire, friend and foe, is a prose, a non-fictional piece of writing that talks about fire, its causes, uses and threats. What is fire? The definition is given. Fire is the result of a chemical reaction. Three things are needed to make a fire. These are fuel, oxygen and heat. Most common fuels are wood, coal, cooking gas and petrol. The air naturally carries oxygen, however oxygen and fuel cannot make fire by themselves. Heat is also important for it to start. The temperature at which a fuel begins to burn is called the flash point of that fuel or the kindling temperature. We generally give heat to a fuel with a lighted match. Fire is a good servant but a bad master. It is used for cooking food, war warning, warming our rooms in winters and to generate electricity. If fire gets out of control, it can be very dangerous. It may burn houses, factories and vast forest areas. In this sense, it is a bad master. There are three main ways to put out a fire. These are 1. Removal of fuel 2. Cutting off the oxygen supply and 3. Bringing the temperature down. Spraying water is a common way of extinguishing fire, but it is not a good way of putting out an oil fire or an electric fire. Oil is lighter than water as a result of which it floats on water. If it catches fire, water helps to spread the fire. Electric fire gives shocks to the person who tries to spray water on it to control it. Therefore, water must never be used to douse an electric or oil fire. In olden times, when there was no concept of fireman, people used to form a human chain to put out the fire. They pass buckets of water from a nearby pond to the place of fire. Today, there are fire brigades in every town. Firemen with their 
special equipments are capable of putting out fires.